As the fall season advances, chestnuts are easily found on the ground, but be aware as not all chestnuts are edible, such as the horse chestnut. It is rounder than the common chestnut and contains toxins that can cause allergic reactions such as itching, burning and abdominal pain, diarrhea and shortness of breath. Now, horse chestnuts are easily confused for edible ones, so we advise people not to pick them off the streets. Now, clear skies are going to dominate over the capital than the eastern regions tomorrow. Now, due to the indirect effect of Typhoon Hagibis, it's going to rain in the eastern regions, accompanied by some strong winds blowing 15 meters per second. Now, meanwhile, the inland areas can expect a pleasant Friday afternoon with temperatures bouncing back to its seasonal norms. Daily lows for tomorrow will be double-digit readings. Now, Seoul kicks off to 14 degrees Celsius. Chuncheon and Gyeongju are chillier at 11 degrees, while the southern regions such as Busan and Jeju get a warmer start at 17 degrees. Checking out the highs, now the sunny conditions will quickly boost the mercury up to 26 degrees for Seoul, and similar temperatures will apply elsewhere. A low pressure system will linger over the nation during the weekend, so there will be plenty of clouds and some spotty showers over the eastern regions. And sunshine will return next week, but a cold front will drop the lows once again. Now we'll leave you with the weather conditions around the world.